Hi, in this video, I will show you how to do advanced search within Wonderlister. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the listings tab, even though advanced search equally applies to the inventory tab as well as the sales tab. So if the listings tab is not yet open, you can open by clicking on listings manage. And if we are interested in doing advanced search, I click on advanced search link. And then the so basically the advanced search really means I am searching by more than one field. So the first thing I do is to select which field I am searching on. For example, in this case, I may want to search on title. So I say title and then select what that title should operator should be. The various options get populated based on the type of field it is. So title being a being a text field, you have the operators which is like in contain, title contains or does not contain, it ends with or does not end with or equal to or is not null etc. So in this case I am saying starting with for example and starting with let's say the word star started. So that's one condition I'm adding to and that the condition that I added appears here and I can add additional conditions. For example, I am only interested in looking at fixed price listings. So I can say listing type and I say equal to and Wonderlist automatically populated the available choices you have. So I say equal to fixed price and add that condition. And as you can see, the default option here is match all the conditions I have. So here the condition is title starting with the word started and the listing type is equal to fixed price. What this checkbox is saying, both the conditions should be satisfied. If I remove this, which means any of the conditions satisfied and whether I want to search my archived listings or not. In this case, I'm saying I don't, I'm not interested in archived listings. So once I have added all the conditions that I'm interested in, I cl click on search. So I see all of them started and they are all fixed price items. Similarly, if I were to create a folder based on the conditions so that when I, I can simply click the folder and I get this result, I can simply create a rule based folder. So I click right click on the rule based user folder, create a subfolder, give it a name. For example, this is test. And again, I have the pretty much the same interface I just showed you. I have a field, let's say the title and I say contains or basically started starting with the word started, add the condition. Then I select my listing type equal to fixed price, add that as a condition. So now I have these two condition and I say match all the conditions selected and I simply save it as a folder. The folder name is test. So now you can see it has become test. If I select this exact same four listings, which you did a search by advanced search are now available to you as a permanent folder. So if I do a search very commonly, all I have to do is to create a folder with the exact same uh, parameters as I did for advanced search, save it permanently as a folder. Just click the folder and you have your search conducted. So that brings us to an end of this video. If you have any questions or need any clarifications, always email us at support at wonderlister.com. Also, in order to get notifications about our new videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.